Well, hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a requested video. I've had this asked before and I can't remember who else asked about it, but it's dealing with nail foils. I got an instant message from It's Neslihan to, um, she was having trouble with her nail foils after my last little foil video. She reached out and asked me she was having trouble with hers. So I thought I would spend just a little bit of time and um, take this opportunity to um, go ahead and jump into nail foils. Now nail foils can come in little containers like this, all rolled up, or they can come in little packages flat like these did. And there's just all kinds out there. Um, I've got this like sheer pink one, and then I've got this red one with this, like a gold backing. And then I've got these lacy ones and the hollow ones. And a lot of times people are struggling with um, nail foils because they just have never played with them. And I just kind of want to clear up some of that. So a lot of times it's hard to figure out which side, especially like on ones like these, which side is the side you put down on your nail. I mean, I've, I've been known to try to put the wrong side on the nail, so um, I'm sure that I'm not the only one that's made that, you know, little flub before. So I thought I would show you a little trick that my friend Jan talked about. Um, but what you can do is, like, if you're not sure, you can flip over your, you can, you can take a little piece of tape and flip it over and just on one little corner, you know, kind of push down and pull up. And if the stuff comes back on the tape, then that means that's the side that needs to go down on your nail. That's a really nice trick. I love it. I mean, it works with all of them. Like you can see, here's the lacy one that would be really hard to tell which side is up and down. You just put it on there. Well, I need to rub it a little bit. And then pull it off, and you can see some is coming off. I did it on the same spot as another spot. So let's try a fresh, fresh corner of that tape. But you see, it just comes right off. And, you know, there's enough foil here to where, you know, you don't have to worry about, oh, I've lost a whole corner. It's There's plenty, plenty to go around. And this trick also worked on the little hollow one. I can take a little corner of that. And there you go. See? It's on there. So that tells you which side of the foil you need to be putting onto your nail. Now, I'm going to get this one out of the way. A long time ago, and I don't know how foils are all coming nowadays. I mean, I've seen them, you know, show up in different ways. But, you know, you, some people would be confused as to, well, which side do I put? Is it the gold that I put onto the nail or the red? This one, I know it's the red that you put down. But um, there was an old trick back in the day that um, some people did. And you don't have to do this, but you can take some eye isopropyl alcohol on a cotton and kind of wipe that. Um, there's a film and you can see the difference in color. This is more silver where I've wiped and it's just, you know, just to make sure that they stick well. I don't know that this is relevant on all foils nowadays, but if you get some that kind of have that frosty whatever look on the back, you can, you can sample with that. Now, moving on to something else. We've done the, how do you figure out which side is which. Um, and once you cut them, sometimes it does get hard to tell, especially like on these laser hollow ones. It's really hard to tell which side is which because um, they're both shiny and pretty. Um, I've tried several different nail glues. We're going to head on into the glue part of it now. Um, this is the one I use the most just because it's a big bottle and it's still fairly full. Sometimes your nail glue can be tricky. You know, um, sometimes I can put mine on, let it dry, and it's, you know, and it's ready to go in a minute or two. But some of the nail glues are a little thicker nowadays, and you need to let them sit for, for anywhere from, you know, five to ten minutes. You know, um, it just really depends. But most nail glues, most of them, go on, and they're kind of this blue color or... They're, they've got a color to them, and you definitely want to get your nail glue as smooth and make sure you go all the way, because anywhere you don't put your nail glue, nothing's going to stick. I mean, it's just not going to. So you put it on there, and you want to get up any off your sides, 
you know, you can use your nail or an orange wood stick. But you're going to want that to dry, and when it dries, it's totally clear. I mean, like clear, clear, clear. And it's very sticky, and that's what helps the nail foils, nail foils stick. And if you don't have nail foil glue, um, there is another kind of glue you can use. I'll break mine out here in just a minute and show you how I do that. But almost all of the companies, AliExpress, Wish, Banggood, Beauty Big Bang, almost everybody sells the nail glue. And you can, you can get it for relatively cheap. Most of them are like a school glue that's been watered down to the right consistency. That's, that's my opinion on it. So um, let me go grab my other glue and I will show you what I'm talking about in case you don't want to order something online. Um, I think they do also have some nail glue, nail full glue at like Sally's Beauty Supply. A lot of times it's in a kit. Um, you can also find it on eBay and Amazon. It's really easy to get a hold of, but I do have a craft glue solution that I'd like to share with you. Let me grab that. I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. You can find this in the craft department. I believe you can find it like at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, places like that. And it's scrap perfect and it's the best glue ever. And it's a quick stick for paper and other crafts. Um, but you can use it in nail art also. So I'm going to show you how I do this. I put out a little dab like that. Just a little blob and that's probably way more than I'm going to need for this demonstration. And then I've got a little cup of water with an art brush in it, one of my nail brushes. And I'm going to show you how I do it. I put it in the water and kind of dab it on the sides and I just start adding it to the glue and mixing it. I'm going to get just a touch more water. And you're going to want to mix it up pretty well. Um, but this is just an al alternative in case you don't, you know, um, want to buy something online. I know a lot of people don't shop online. Um, but I'm going to add a little more water to it. But you're going to want to make it kind of thin, not too thin, not watery, wa you know, watery thin. And I don't know if you can see this, like when I push down, see how it kind of goes through the brush it kind of pushes up through this is this is about the consistency I would use so I'm going to use that on this nail right here and it is a little watery but um, it's you know it's it's an option and you, you can control how watery it is <laughs> which is nice so I've added that to there break Woody out because I have made a mess and I like to clean this stuff up as I go along too just like I do when I do nail polish and it also goes on kind of colored it's a little bit colored also so there we go it's a little cloudy looking and it'll dry clear just like this one has so let me get this out of the way and um, got some glue over here. I have to wipe that up. So let's get on to playing with some nail foils. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I've got some little pieces of the foil cut out. I do highly recommend that um, before you get started putting glue on your nails, that you go ahead and get your little pieces cut out for you know whatever size you're wanting to do. Sometimes you might want to, especially in the beginning, cut out maybe a piece or two extra just in case you have an issue with one of them. Um, and I use my little, these are like little pinchy scissors. I don't even remember where I got them, but I like them because I'm, I'm right handed, but I can also use these with my left hand to cut with, so that's always really nice. This is the one where I used that best glue ever. And I'm going to use this red here. I figure it would be a good one to do. So I'll lay it on the nail, kind of mush it down, and start rubbing. I'll go ahead and use my tool. I feel like I have better control with the tool. So you just start rubbing it around, going all the way to the end. And you can tell it's starting to pop up. That means it's stuck. 
starts giving way, you can tell. Now, as you can see, there's some spaces that have been missed. You can always go back in with your nail glue. Or you could just, you know, re redo this too. You know, try to do that. But I think my nail glue might be. I'm just going to use from the, the bottle brush. And just kind of tap in those areas. And you're going to let that dry again. And then go back in with some more of this one. So I'm going to set that to the side. And now we've got this next one here. I'm going to try the other holographic paper one that I had. See if maybe this one will work. So, it's it's a it's just trial and error, really. You got to figure out your glue, you know, which glue works and how long you need to let it cure before you start trying to do it. Because I have messed them up doing them too soon. The glue was way too sticky. So we're gonna give this a go. I don't know what was up with that other one. Like I said, it happens, you know. And there you go. I just pulled that out. Look. Ding, da, ding, ding, ding. Beautiful. Okay, and now I've got this light pink one. It didn't have anything on the back of it. It's just, you know. And I'm not going to be able to see a whole lot with this one because it's very similar to the base color. But if you're doing like a full one like this, a lot of times it is good to use a similar color nail polish underneath. This one's just jumping off the nail quick. So I'm trying to get that all smoothed in. And they recommend doing the similar nail polish color underneath um, if you're wanting the full nail design. That way if you do have one little spot that it didn't take, you know, it, it um, see I'm repositioning that and going back over some of the areas that didn't stick real well. You can do that. We'll do it some more up here. And that way if you've, you know, just got one little teeny spot that didn't, nothing stuck, it, you know, it works. And that one's not a very good example because the color is just way too close. But it's okay. We're playing here, right? Okay, now this one, I need to turn it over. And stick it down. But the trick really is, I think, with nail foils is, first of all, knowing which side you, you're wanting to touch down onto your nail, and then figuring out how long you need to let your glue sit before attempting, you know, application. That one turned out just gorgeous. Love that. So, this one has dried. It's clear again. So, I'm going to go in with some more of that red foil. Stick it down. Push it with my finger, and then we'll start rubbing it with the cuticle pusher again. And you can see it's wanting to pop up because most of it's already got stuff stuck to it. So I am going to move it around. And I'll be honest, I didn't, when I bought this big set of all these plain colors, I was picturing, ooh, full, ooh, I'll have red metallic foil nails and I never really got into it because I can get like a good coverage I just pretty much rubbed that one off but for to you know and like that one's just, just messed up okay so we've got these done now the next thing that you're going to be doing is you're going to be topping your manicure and if you try to top any of these metallic or hollows with regular top coat they're going to crinkle and get all funky. In fact, let me see if I can, since we're playing, let's see if I can put some on here so I can show you. Okay, so there's a little bit there. And where is some regular top coat? Here's my posh. I'll crack it open. And you might get lucky sometimes. You might get lucky and it not do what I'm thinking it's going to. But it changes it. It makes it crackle and look kind of, you know, busted up. And that's not what you're wanting. You're wanting that more smooth look. So they make a product called Revolution by Picture Polish. 
and I'm going to shake mine up because it's been sitting for a while. But it is made for um, foil top coats or for topping foils. And I'm going to show you. It's it doesn't do the crinkling thing. It's um, it doesn't it doesn't just it doesn't distort it and make it crack. I really like that. There's also one by Little On Dime. They sell a special top coat for foils. But if you don't have that, and you've already got something like Peel Ease or Oint, these are water-based, or um, I believe they're water-based, you know, top or base coats for peel off. But they also work really well for. I'm using this Oint one real quick. They work really good for topping your foils and keeping them from looking cracked or busted or distorted looking but you go in with that now even though this one in a foil I'm going to go ahead and show you I'm going to use the peelies on that one but you use these as a base layer between this and your normal top coat you wouldn't want to leave this as your final top coat you just you're just trying to seal that in and you're going to want to let these dry really well before you apply your net, your real top coat. So, and I'm going to do some more playing. I'll be right back. Okay, I decided I probably ought to share this playing. That's what this video was supposed to be all about. So I'm taking my foil glue and I'm wiping most of it off of the thing. And I'm just kind of dabbing it in a couple of areas. And that's a little gloopy looking. And maybe just like dabbing it in, you know, on top of the other foils that I've already done. Because I'm playing, right? We can play. So, I'm going to let that foil glue dry, and then I'm going to play some more and show you how fun these can be. It, you know, it's really, it, the foils come in all, so, so many different designs and colors and, and everything that you really can just go crazy with it. You can just, you know, have have a great time mixing and matching and doing accent nails. Now, another thing, too, is when I first started doing foils, I do it just like I do any kind of new technique that I'm doing. And what I like to do is I like to do my ring finger first. That way, if it's difficult or frustrating, then I've only got that one nail that I had to deal with. I wasn't, like, trying to do all five of them on this hand. So that's, that's a little tip that I like to throw out there pretty often, that when you're trying something new, and um, especially if it's been frustrating in the past and you're scared it's going to be, it's good to just play on an accent nail. Then that way you can just stop right there and it's just your accent nail. You can just be done with it. So I'm going to put these under my nail dryer, which is another recommendation I have. If you have a nail dryer or a hair dryer, you can you know, get it dry pretty fast. This is drying pretty quick. This one actually looks like it's already ready, so I'm going to just go on in and play with it. But you don't have to rub them all in. You can go in and do little things like that. Let's try this one. Put some hollow on there. You know, just wherever that glue is is where you're going to have stuff stick. And, you know, it's just playing. For me, it's just playing. So that's got a little hollow in it now. And where's that red one? Is this the red one? I think this is the red one. So, you know, you can just go in and it's just going to be real distressed looking. And that's kind of cool too, you know. Just in those little spots where you put some more of that glue it's sticking so look at that funky mess but it's I like it I like that it's different you know and you can go back in some more with some more nail glue and put in even more areas But the trick, I think, mostly is, is knowing when your foil glue is ready. Um, like I said, I've gone in way too soon when it was still too wet and just pretty much ripped up everything. So it's nice to 
and you can blow on it you can speed up the process this particular nail glue that I'm using from Yeber 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 star glue it dries up really quick and I have another nail glue I think from Beauty Big Bang and it dries a little bit slower but this one's already clear so I'm gonna go on in and play with it but you can just do all sorts of fun stuff with nail glue just have fun with it don't let it frustrate you you know if you're getting frustrated with it go back to it another time see look at that now I got hollow and red and pink and just all kinds of stuff going on but remember to always top it with something you know like peel ease something that's not gonna crackle it and if you're not sure you know test it out test test it out on your, your nail mat or you know something like that and to be honest with you, if you want it crackled look, you can totally do that too. I've done that before. Put it on and then put a regular top cut on it and let it just, just get all crazy looking. Because, you know, I like playing, so, you know, I like experimenting with things. So there we go. And I'm going to let these dry. I'm going to put some top cut on it and come back and show you what they look like. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I have top coated them with my posh top coat and I just wanted to show you how easy the cleanup is on this. I've just got some acetone and a little dampen dish and I'm just going around with my little cleanup brush and the excess is coming right off. So I know this is not like a beautiful manicure right here, especially on this finger, but I just wanted to show, you know, playing with some nail foils. and hopefully given some tips that will be helpful for those of you that have been struggling with it. I just, um, I know the struggle is real. I've, I do lots of struggling with nail art sometimes, but I always like to share that. But I wanted to throw this out there and let y'all see, and I hope that, you know, you won't give up on the nail foils. Keep playing. Figure it out. You, you can do it. I believe in you. So there we have it. That is my nail foil play for the day. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about nail foils. I'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.